hey beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is grace if you're seeing my face for the very first time please do not make it your last consider subscribing and you know sticking around it's our second episode of our book review series and i'm super excited if you're yet to watch the first episode i'm going to leave it in the description so you can go and catch up today's book review will be reviewing another fictional book so if you've not subscribed now is the time for you to subscribe <laughs> All right, um, so the book we're going to be reviewing is The Secret um, Lives of Baba Shaggy's Wives. And this book is by Lola Shonei. I hope I pronounced it well. This is the book. I like the color of the book. It's black, you know. Our rules for book reviews is that no spoilers, okay? So I'm just going to review the book, give my ratings, and then... You can go ahead and read it if you haven't. And if you have, we can have an interaction in the comment section. So this um, book was written by a British Nigerian author. And let me just read what is at the back about the book. For Baba Shegi, his collection of wives and children are signs of his virility. All run smoothly in the polygamous home until wife number four arrives. Hmm. Bolanle is a soft-spoken university graduate who is quickly ostracized by her illiterate co-wives. However, she is determined to give Baba Shegi the children he expects. Her failure to conceive exposes a dark family secret. This revelation has devastating consequences for the entire household. Hmm. With sardonic humor, Lola Shonei unravels the rotten inward of this polygamous household in a cleverly plotted story. Hmm. So, did you pick that Baba Shegi has wives? Like, he has other wives. And he didn't just have other wives. He, went, he didn't just have other wives. The wives he has are illiterate. And he's also an illiterate. And then marrying a university graduate as his fourth wife. And you, it made me wonder, like, why would a university graduate want to marry an illiterate man that has three other wives, making her the fourth wife? Like, what would make her want to do that? <laughs> That's the thought I had. Obviously, you find out more in the book. But... You know, they, there's actually, that's what they said, the secret lives of Baba Shege wives. There are lots of secrets in the household. One major secret actually stands out, but nobody, you know, said anything about it. Until when Bolan Lee came into the house and everything start, started to unravel. It baffles me that she did, she's, not just an, she's not just a university graduate as his fourth wife. She was also open to having kids for him. I, I mean, this is somebody that went to school, you know, civilized. 20 years in school, you're here, getting married to an illiterate. And the illiterate, getting married to an illiterate is not even the issue, obviously. Graduates marry illiterate. Graduates marry people that did not even go to school. But being his fourth wife, wow. Anyway, this book, the setting of the, the story setting of this book is um, a Nigerian um, African setting and I love the way Lola the writer wrote this book she wrote it in such a way that I love reading books that have different perspective okay and that's why I liked the last the previous book I um, reviewed my mind is no longer here by Inza Silva so Baba Shaggy we have his point of view he told us the background of his story how he met his wives how he met Bolanle the different wives their stories everything and as a as the writer carefully unfolds their lives that was when we knew um that's when i knew when you know you put one and one two and two and before the secret is finally out so this book is actually intriguing and the suspense is crazy because i kept reading to be like 
what is this secret? Like, what, what is going on? There's something that I need to know. And I just kept flipping through the pages of the book. So the book is about um, 245 pages. It's not a big book. It's not a big book here. So you, you can finish this book in one sitting. Because it's actually interesting. But I think I finished it in a couple of days. Obviously, because I'm working and I don't have the time to sit down to finish the book. But if I had time, this is something I can finish in like one or two sittings. Yeah. So this book was well written. The um, progression of the book was also um, good. Like I was able to follow along each character, each chapter, the setting. Everything made sense at the end of the book. This book has... um um would invoke certain kind of emotions for you pity angry sadness there's nothing really funny in this book so i won't say um, there are lots of humor i'm not sure there is i didn't notice any there are going to be um sadness so be expecting it but i like the fact that this book is real it's almost like a real life story about things that are happening in this world and yeah you get to find out about baba shaggy's wives the secrets you know the fourth wife everything you get to find out so my rating i'm going to give this book a nine over ten because it's a good book a good good book yeah so yeah would i recommend you reading this book absolutely this is a good book to read you're gonna have a good time let me know in the comments have you read this book how was it like for you i really want to talk about it but then i don't want to give any spoilers because i want you to read it if you haven't but if you have please let's interact in the comments but try as much as possible not to give any spoilers so that those who have not read the book can read it and enjoy it i don't like spoiling anything for anybody so yeah so that's pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up look out for more book review videos and of course I have other kind of content on my channel, content creation tips, social media management tips, personal development tips, career tips, work tips, skincare reviews, name it. I have lots of content, lifestyle vlogs. I have it. So there's no how you come to my channel and you won't find one or two or three or ten content that you won't like. So please consider subscribing sticking around give this video a thumbs up share it with somebody who support me share it to a book lover so ah i forgot this book i got it um ha, i forgot how much i got this book but i don't want to make mistakes because i made a mistake in the first book review for the price so i'm going to leave i'm going to check but when i'm editing the video i'm going to leave the price of this book on the screen so yeah that's how much i got it from Wolverine heights of course that's where i get my books from yeah so yeah um, that's pretty it for this video. I'm going to see you in my next. Bye.